what is going on you beautiful people it's your boy storm back at it again with another brawlhalla upload today's video um we're gonna be going over all things boots you know Training. this dude right here um my opinions on him and whatnot first of all um i want you to take a look at the stat line because uh that's pretty good you now you could be speedier you could be tankier but uh you just plug in the four stance there you get you got yourself the lucky number the four decks and you're just ready to go it's quite broken i must say all right let's hop into the training so yeah um these are boots i'm sure a lot of you just seen gameplay everywhere you've definitely fought every double tezka in the friendly twos queue um this character is is the best in the game right now free uh, i think he's the best unreleased legend we've ever had um most of that is because of the sigs like the stats are cool and all he has gauntlets you know meta weapon boots are obviously very broken too not as broken as like unreleased great sword though like obviously but they're pretty broken like they have some cheesy things but uh, first of all i just want to talk about the sigs like if that's down sig none of them have lag like at all you can just instantly act out of anything on this like it, it's pretty hilarious you got yourself active input and it spikes you know, just the sigs just spike, you know, for fun. As they as they should. This will probably kill. Yep. Oh, it mega killed. What am I saying? And then you got the gauntlet sigs, you know. Just as lagless as the boots ones. The, this is like the best sig in the game, maybe. Like, it just spikes and it kills on stage. Active input here. I just don't even like. It, it wasn't play tested. <laughs> you can combo off this also. Yeah, you can combo off of down sig because the aerial version has like zero force. You can steer. Of course you can steer. Why wouldn't you be able to steer? Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, this is the first character they've ever made. Where I genuinely feel bad for, like, hitting SIGs. Like, completely unearned. Not even, like, Mako down SIG pre-patch. And, like, Mordex down SIG pre-patch. Like, these are the best SIGs the game has ever seen. And it, I don't think it's close. You can, like, just fully spam in endgame. And it... You don't even have to know what sig you're gonna throw out because you can probably just sig until the game ends and that's just how it goes it's disgusting all right um i just want to get the sigs out of the way though um my main focus obviously is the boots which uh it's the only weapon i've played since they came out pretty much like i played some scythe and spear and whatnot here and there but boots this character right here is all i've been playing and boots are definitely uh the most fun i've had with brawl in a while and it most of that is because of the design like you can travel so far uh with your strings like cannon or scythe and you have active input too so you can become really creative with what you want to do and this weapon has buttons like nair is kind of like an orb nair it might might even be better i'm not sure that might be a crazy statement but yeah you got nair dash side light look at how far this travels active hitbox with active input too it reminds me of qatar side light kind of so yeah you have the normal version that sends them on the ground then you have the forward version that sends them up um some things you can do uh with the forward version dodge down sair that's a string i think it's like four frames you can do dare that's three frames and then i think you can do ground pound yeah 
Um, you can also do recovery. So, forward version side light is really good for strings. And then the grounded version is just good for setups. Like, there, they're forced on the ground. They could, like, spot dodge or something, and you can start a read. And, um, if they have no dodge, you can do the ground version into end light. Like, that's a string. You have, you have to get used to the timings. Alright, what else is active input? Um, down light. That is a normal version. Sends them up. Hold down, though, and, uh... Send them on the ground for true combos. Down light, down light is true. The down version. Uh, down light, side light is true. So you could do uh, two active input moves in one combo like that. It's pretty cool. And then an extended combo would be this. Pretty broken. I'm gonna turn on uh, stun frames. I don't know why it wasn't on, but uh. Yeah, ground kit is really good. This is, I think this is the fastest end light in the game. Um, yeah, it's, it feels even faster than orb end light, but it's not uh, as active. It's pretty active, but it's not as active as like sword or orb end light. But uh, it's it's really good just for, you know, how end lights are used for. And you can string out of it too, like no dodge. You just go for side light or something. It's really nice. Some other strings, uh, you got Nair Sair, got Nair Recovery, which is like, prime kill option, you read a dodge in the air, you do GC, downlight Nair Recovery, pretty good stuff. Cool true combo here, forward version Sair into end light, but it's, it only works at like zero, but yeah, Sair is so broken, the momentum you have on hits. Like, it doesn't make sense that uh, how you can just kill someone. Wait, I want to see if this will kill. This might kill. Look at his health. Yeah, uh, they just need to, like, fix that. I think that's the biggest thing with boots. Like, uh, overall, I think they're okay. It's just minor tweaks need to happen here and there. Like, that's Sarah. Just killing so early doesn't really make sense. It's basically downlight Sarah on sword, but on steroids. <laughs> so, but like, uh, oh yeah, ground pound you can steer. It's like a pretty good priority. Like, a lot of the moves just flow really well, and the moves make sense. It's just they need to tweak, tweak out all the cheese of the weapon, and I think overall it's okay. Because right now, I wouldn't even call it the best. Um, it can lack range in some matchups, and it can struggle off stage a lot of the times. Like the recovery itself on boots coming back to the map is not that good at all, honestly. Um, you have no drift with recovery. Like I'm moving all the way right when I do that. You can't move. You're like stuck in place, and you have a lot of whiff frames too. So that's one big weakness on boots. Um, I've struggled the most against like bow, spear, and scythe um, with this weapon. That's about it though. They're definitely top tier. They're definitely broken and you can just like cheese. Uh, I said this weapon is like Katara's with cannon gimps and you also have active input. So that's what it feels like for me. Uh, some other things to note, uh, Sarah forward version and end light is true, like I said, but it's like, you just want to use it if you want to move, and if not, you just do normal version, and it tends to kill earlier, like if you're in a spot like this. A couple other things I want to talk about is, uh, unlike Orb Nair, Boots Nair has like a backwards hitbox, like the back kick right here, and if you hit that part, it's actually way easier to string. Like into Sarah. That was two frames. That was what? That was actually two frames. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, the backwards hit of Nair is way better for strings if you can pull it off. Because things become uh, tighter and unjumpable. Oh, yeah. Um, boots down air. Normal version. You do a bounce, which is just good for a setup. Or if you hit it off stage and you don't want to go down or you don't want to die, you just like hit the bounce and you're good. But you hold down, you get a grounded version here. It has a pretty good hitbox. 
uh, off stage, like you hit this, you can do Sair if you if they jump. If they don't jump, you can ground pound. So it's kind of like a 50-50. Yeah, there. He jumped, so I should have Sair'd. It's, it's a pretty good option. So a string that's really good that people don't really use at all is uh, down version down air into end light. Like, you just dash out of it. Um, people can wake up against it, but they can't jump. So, you have to do the input really tightly, or else it won't hit. But, I hit this a lot. I also hit uh, down version down air into side light a lot. You just have to read when people want to wake up against you or not. Because some strings, they can just jump out of it. Or they could just wake up if they have a fast move, like unarmed end light, stuff like that. So yeah, it's basically just a, a crazy high mobility string weapon with active input. Like it's right up my alley. Like it is so much fun. Anything else I didn't talk about? Uh, oh yeah, down light combos, all of them. So down light pretty much combos into everything. Both versions, like here. That was true, down version. Uh, that's true, but it's hard. It's hard to get. Like, I'm getting it one frame there. There we go. And then, forward version actually combos into everything, except like ground pound. Like, I'll do side light here. Yeah, that was true. Let's see here. Uh, down light there, bread and butter. It can be set to do like recovery, like I did earlier. Got the down light there, you know, and a uh, an underutilized string or combo that I've been doing a lot, or I've been trying to do a lot because it's good for setups. Like I, I like boots down air a lot. Like this move is so it goes so long, it's so active. Like I can be up here and hit them. Yeah, that's crazy. Down light down air is actually true. Forward and back. If you chase dodge forward and down air, it's true. And you can reverse it. Like that. Or like that. And then you can do end light or side light out of that. Oh, whoops, I messed up. I'm terrible. Come here. Oh. Wait, I'm washed. I'm very washed. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this this weapon has a lot of potential. So uh, yeah, that's Tezka. Um, he will be nerfed. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, whenever that is, the SIGs need to go. And then the small changes I mentioned on boots with like Sarah Cheese, momentum on Sarah Forward. Sidelight should also be uh, changed a bit. I think you carry the opponent way too far with the move. Like, it reminds me of Dash Impulse, Qatar Sidelight, when that was a thing. Uh, it could just be changed a little bit, and it's good. Overall, though, the weapon's very strong, but it, it does have weaknesses. Like, BMG did a really good job designing this weapon. It's so much fun. And I think... You know, it always depends on the patch, but I don't see this character being bad, and I also don't see BMG making boots, like, considerably worse before Winters. So if I still like this character and I still like this weapon post-patch, it is extremely likely that I play him in 1s and 2s, because I think he, he might even be better in 2s than in 1s. I didn't even talk about that. In twos, all the active input sigs and moves and everything, you just zoom in around the map, it's so broken. And the stats are perfect too. So, yeah. I'm I'm interested. Very interested. My Tesca's almost level 40 somehow. I don't even know how that happened. I was just grinding friendly twos, some ranked here and there, you know, experimental games. I, this is the only thing I've been playing. It's so much fun. So, I'm actually not going to queue for this video. Um, 
I'm just gonna show some clips that I've uh, saved past couple days on boots that are pretty cool and uh, it'll be a minute or so long but I'll queue another time so I hope you guys enjoy those clips but other than that thank you guys for watching remember to like and subscribe Check out my socials in the description down below. Appreciate all of you. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Dog's down. Yep, nice. You're dead. <laughs> Alright, get to it. Fucking in. Yeah, it's just time to end stream, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Have a good fall. Stop. Oh. oh, it's over. You did it to me twice. <laughs> Oh my god. You're feeling yourself a little bit too much oh here. My god. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. Oh, oh. Whoa, what did I just do to you? Whoa. Whoa. Bitch, why are you jumping? Alright, alright, alright. Stuart. What? Woo! <laughs>